In this video, we're going to look at my DRAC USB tester here. And they do sell these. I bought them a long time ago. But in any case, if you use a USB and you're learning electronics, I really recommend getting one of these. So we got some other displays we can get on here. But right now, we'll just focus on the basic voltage and current. So my power supply has a couple USB plugs. You have to turn on the USB and then make sure you hit the power button if it says off but in case it's on right now it's providing power you can see the power supply is set to 5.1 volts right there 516 milliamps of current according to this display it's not uh, completely accurate but uh, it's pretty close maybe it's off one maybe two milliamps probably so in any case according to the DRAC USB tester here we have uh, 0.5 amps which is the same as 500 milliamps right there so we also have these LEDs. I don't think it counts that current. I think it's just the output current. So these LEDs are probably using somewhere around 16, 17 uh, milliamps of current or something like that. So in any case, what we have here is the uh, USB plug plugged into the output. Over here, we have a 10 watt, 10 ohm resistor. The alligator clips, they come from the uh, USB. So it's USB on one end alligator clips on the other right there so 10 watt 10 ohm resistor and so this resistor is really hot that's why I'm setting it on this crimping tool the crimping tool though I think is conductive so I don't want to let the positive and uh, the negative the red and the black uh, side to uh, touch it so I'll just stick it over there but in any case let's look at this in a little bit more detail to make changes to this there's only one button and so we will hit the button now it's not voltage and current anymore now it's capacity so I reset this because I'm shooting the scene again but uh, we got 500 milliamp or uh, 0.5 amps as we saw before and so after an hour this is gonna say 500 after two hours we're gonna have a one up there for a thousand so that's a thousand milliamp hours and uh, so it just counts up the uh, current and the amount of time and that becomes the capacity in milliamp hours if we had one amp of current that we were passing through here for an hour then it'd be one after an hour and then after two hours it would be two right there so we'll uh, go through this we can click it again now we got power right here so that's pretty simple we got uh, five volts up there times 0.5 amps that's the power in watts right there so we got that 2.5 remember we are powering a 10 ohm resistor right there so it's getting really hot that's a lot of uh, wattage so it's a big resistor though it can dissipate the heat but uh, you don't want to touch it a uh, good chance you'll get burned so now this will be a little bit more confusing you'll see C and then it looks like a UA but that was VA it goes away really quick quicker than I would like but now you can see we got the voltage current and the capacity it's just gonna cycle through uh, the two of those now we got the power voltage and current it's going to show the voltage current and then the power right there then we could just look at capacity and power capacity power and then voltage and current so it's going to cycle through all three of these uh, settings right there now when it comes to the capacity what we can do is we can uh, unplug it and then plug it back in now you see it uh, flashing so it's clearing out the capacity right there and then we also can just click this to the capacity and uh, I don't know if it'll do it because it's zero there we go so if there was a number there it would have cleared right there when it was flashing so that's really all I think you uh, can do with this uh, not uh, terribly hard but uh, if you're new to electronics especially these numbers are, are very helpful because it's just doing the work for you you can just look at the numbers and over time they they will make more sense also as you're studying electronics you'll learn about them in uh, more detail so I have this linked down in my Amazon shop I bought it a couple years ago and it's still being sold so the link should be good hopefully for a long time right there Amazon shop uh, link is down in the description if you live in the United States please use that link I get a percentage of uh, sales from that from uh, many items at no extra cost to you so that's really nice other countries I don't think I'll get anything but uh, in any case 
still a uh, useful component I recommend it whether you get it through my shop or not but anyways check out all my links make sure you click uh, like subscribe the bell and all that donate to patreon if you can that'll help out the most but just watching videos helps a lot I really appreciate it I'll see you in the next video